All right, folks, the deck is Quest Shudderwalk Cthune Shaman. The goal of the deck is to buff our Cthune as much as possible, slam it with a hero power to do a bunch of burst damage, and if that doesn't work, we can shuffle more in with Doomcaller and Shudderwalk to get even more Cthunes to eventually kill them. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash waffle. Watch this! Finally, a deck other than the Demon Seed, potentially. I shall bring honor kind of need to find card draw. What lurks beyond the firelight. That said, in early Snowfall Guardian could be beneficial. Same thing with an early Golganeth. So does that make it Holy Wrath? That could be a bit of an issue for me. Seems likely. I don't really want to crowd my board at the moment, but... Like, I don't know, just passing seems a little bit worse, I guess, suppose. Could now be worth holding onto the coin just because we drew the Cthune. And we'll want to like look for a hero power Cthune turn. When getting there potentially a turn earlier could be fine. But this game is making me remember the other part of why I hate Sphere, other than it being a bad card and minus one card in your hand. It dramatically increases the uh the game length. I don't know what that means. I'm seven moves ahead of you. Let's go minion. Seem to be heavily spell based. Are they just looking to turbo buff the uh, the boars? are great. I was looking for things that buff the Cthune instead of uh, benefit from buffing the Cthune. Okay. These could be good if they are trying to do boar shenanigans just to uh, put up a roadblock, I guess. Go ahead and use the coin. Get one of these down. I stock of Cthulhu. The new Apple products are getting a little weird. Relaxation for all, and all thanks to me. Hmm. So they're playing Marin shenanigans? I have the potential for a turn 10 go if I want it, or I could simply just play this next turn and um, follow it with the Doom Caller to get another one that way. That doesn't seem good for me. 
At least there's no pole killed ahead of time. So that's probably another boar, right? So we know they're not Reno. Well, it took me probably over an hour, but we found a singular person playing a fun deck in this format. This way, if they go wide, I still have the Lightning Storm into Cthulhu to get a decent amount of damage. And then also the AoE from the Golgoneth. Okay, then. Well, we actually won a game with Cthulhu. Incredible. Uh, Priest, if it's Reno, should be fine. Priest, if it's Shadow, aggro. Should be a disaster. Looks like it's going to be a disaster. There's no point in playing the quest here. I have no follow-up. I need the coins to maybe get to the Golgoneth, and that could save me. Is someone injured? I hope you like my invention. This is not a good sign that they're drawing so aggressively. Let's just play this. I've got enough coins right now. Maybe I should have just played the... No, because if I give them the pebbly page, they can get hero power value. Mind if I roll need? So now we're just going to double coin the Golgoneth and use the damage. No idea what they're doing. Okay, so it is Reno. So they're killing the Golgoneth. It's like combo Reno, so I need to figure out a way to speed things up on my end. It is a large amount of card draw, at least. That's it, the opponent has drawn a lot of cards already, too. Hey, loser! Hey, loser. Could just be a tempo grumble. Probably will want to draw cards off the knowledge next turn. Okay, that makes the Vecklor activate. Issue is, like, if they poof the Cthulhu, I don't think it gets, At last. like, shuffled back in by the Doom Caller. So I don't know if I can play a Cthulhu that doesn't kill them before the Reno comes down, if they're even running Reno. I 
but it looks like they're an older version that just is reliant on the Anduin shenanigans, which also I'm beginning to realize does mean that this anomaly is extraordinarily one-sided with the hero power. So that's quite bad for me. this something. Oh. Oh, that's horrible for me. My deck just got obliterated. So it's going to be very, 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 very hard to draw the Cthulhu now. Uh, yeah, that probably is just going to slow me down enough to lose the game here. They've had a lot of junk minions die, so to get the two... Arguable best outcomes. I guess a uh, cleric isn't very good without the hero power anymore, or with the changed hero power. The void is filled with many whispers. Okay, that's a really good pickup because I'm desperate for card draw. Shutterwalk is very active and very reliable now. We tempo the grumble. We've got the dupe effects. Like I just need to find the cartoon. Got a rather large lad, and he gets a lot bigger if we ever hit the uh, Shutterwalk. The issue is, as soon as they draw the Raza, there's a decent chance we die. That might be what they're counting right now. Good god, we've done it. Or at least something of it. So with the hero power, it should be guaranteed here, right? Lone issue is they don't really have a low feb into the mix. Let's just throw this out because it's funny. Well, this might cause an overdraw, which would be its own problem. Yeah, 
that's actually probably so around the best order I could hope to have there. I forgot it. That was the second cut through, or uh, Shadow Walk, not the second time through. So these are pretty big. They not bother counting. No, your That's why Raza was so scary, and why the anomaly was so unbelievably in their favor. Okay. Pray it's not quest mage. All imperfections must be swept away. What lurks beyond the firelight? All right, let's keep our card draw. That's been a pretty Pretty big mitigate or limiting factor for things that have been going on. I think we just go ancestral knowledge on one, then pebbly page into the corrupt the waters. Okay. It's my favorite card. Really, this could just be the uh, coin play next turn. See if we can get this down and rolling. I'm happy to see this and not open the way gate at least. Do you hear its call? But now we can ensure that we get uh, all of the battle cry value off of the corrupt the waters. So, uh, that's gonna die, right? Like, we don't mess around with Bran in this house. turn we could just like play an Okani because I want to try and hero power to double buff as many uh, of the Cthulhu buffers as possible okay now that probably changes things I'm not gonna hero power here it just clogs the board I think I just want to go Cthulhu's chosen into the bird and then we just tempo the Cthulhu and pray they don't have a polymorph effect. Because we're, the reason to do that is we're still two turns ahead of... Uh, the Reno at this stage. I mean, maybe I just hold it. And try and complete the... Uh, the quest. No ways can sink this ship. Okay, that's almost certainly a nice block. An incredible discovery. It could be an objection though, so I probably yeah, one of those is almost assuredly objection. Do you hear it's 
I knew it. Should I hear about it first in case of spell damage? It's Flame Ward. I don't know how to play this, but I think if I didn't go that exact turn, I probably can't go until I have at least a block plot, block pop, or see a Reno. Oh, it's LPG. I thought it was like a. Uh... I don't even know. Go here. Here. Try and bait the Reno. They Reno, we hero power the Cthoon. And that leaves them at one, is that math for correct? 37? 36. I got a zero mana Reno. No. No way. Okay, still very bad. So we know it's Ice Block, but we also know that they got a pretty absurd turn. I got lucky to dodge the Mutanus. That's the Freeze Man. So this just gets frozen on board a lot. It does get buffed along the way, right? It's the Sleet Skater a lot of times. Oh, not this time, though. Like the only thing I can hope for is that they don't have any sort of polymorph effect here. See how this goes. Yep. Uh, so they didn't get it off of the Mesa Dooney, but they did pop pick it this turn. So that's a bummer. Okay, that's kind of exactly what I needed here. No way. Well, there's GG, I guess. Don't have any overload effects here. It only does three damage, which is not a lot of damage. And then this ends up being random. Like, uh, this doesn't actually do anything anymore because they just uh, took it. So, playing Cthune in modern Hearthstone is just asking for constant pain and suffering. Like, I think legitimately the only way I could possibly expect to have a chance at winning is if they pick the attendees and then the attendees 
just do stupid things. And the cycle of life is reborn just absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal order there. Incredible to play that before the Potion Evolution. Uh, like, we'd just be dead here if they had uh, done that in the other order. Now, like, there's a chance or we're not. But yeah, of course we still are. Why would there be consequences for their actions here? I simply can't play this deck anymore.